because she couldn't go out with him anymore because his car smelled so bad because when he left the shop, he would sit in his car and that smell permeated everything in his car. With my buddy John again today, and we are going to discuss one of the four major components of what can go wrong with your coolant. John, yeah, is that me? <laughs> Do you smell something? Well, thank God it's not the coolant here. It is not the coolant. <laughs> However, I have been in machine shops where I immediately have to take a shower. I immediately want to burn my clothes because some <laughs> of that coolant can get real bad. So let's talk about odor. Talk about odor. Yes, unfortunately, coolant can get ripe. Yes, and it can. <laughs> it gets really bad. In fact, uh, I've got a great story of a guy. We were doing some ed educating about how to maintain their coolant, and he gave a story about how bad his coolant had smelled before we did the change. He lost a hot girlfriend, according to him, because she couldn't go out with him anymore because his car smelled so bad because when he left the shop, he would sit in his car, and that smell permeated everything in his car doesn't have to be that way. Little did he know all he had to do was talk to you and fix his coolant. Yeah, and I don't know if that would have helped his love life, but yes, I could have fixed his coolant. So it doesn't have to smell like that. And actually, the, it's one of the easiest things to make sure it doesn't, which is maintain the proper concentration in your coolant all the time. If your coolant's supposed to be run between 8 and 10%, keep it between 8 and 10% every day. That really does a big job of getting rid of the stink. John, you know, we talk about the four major components, and we're on odor right now, or the stank, as we like to call yeah, it. But we've talked about rust, we've talked about skin care, we've talked about foam. It really seems like the concentration of the coolant is the leading factor that can really remedy a lot of issues. It is. It's the first thing that comes out of any coolant's mouth, uh, coolant person's mouth when you call with a problem. What's your concentration? If it's too high, it can cause issues. If it's too low, it can cause issues. And if it's too low, it often causes the stink. Your coolant starts to stink. The bacteria has a chance to take off, and once it does, it's very difficult to get it back under control without cleaning the machine and starting all over. So maintaining the proper concentration is the easiest way to get rid of the stank. Guys, talk to John, Master Fluid Solutions. Get rid of that stank. Keep your girlfriends. Stay tuned <laughs> for more episodes on the four major components of what can go wrong with your coolant and the solutions to each one.